Today's video is sponsored by AnyTrans. With AnyTrans, you can back up your iPhone's data in three different ways. You can back up all of your iPhone data at once. You can back up only new data after the first backup. You can also back up iPhone's data wirelessly and automatically with the AnyTrans software. You can also view this data and restore backup according to the user's needs. So what are you waiting for? Check out AnyTrans. Links will be in the description down below. So today I wanna to show you how to customize and theme your iPhone phone on the latest iOS 14.3. I'm going to show you how to remove those app transitions. This is going to be an updated method on how to get everything you see here, removing the dock, blending in the notch, customizing the icons, and again, how to remove those app transitions or app redirects, as you can see there when you click on a particular icon. So let's just dive right in. Now, the first thing you want to know is, of course, how to download entire themes one click simple. So the links will be in the description for the application, this one here. I've shared this app before. I believe I paid $1.99 to get access to all of the themes. There are some free ones as well, but to get access to most of them, I believe I paid $1.99 a while ago. So this is the one that I currently rock in right here. You have two sets of icons that you can theme. You have your standard icons for iOS icons, and you have your third-party icons. Now, I currently have the standard iOS icons themed here on the main page. I'm gonna download the second package, which is the third-party application icons, and it'll bring me to Safari, click Allow, and this will install a profile and settings, so we have to go to Settings, and then in Settings, we're gonna go to Profiles, and then we're gonna install this profile here, enter the passcode, the same one you use to unlock your iPhone, once you do that, you can click install, and this will install the theme onto your iPhone. Now, as I mentioned, I already had the standard icons, the iOS icons right here on the main page, but you can see all these other icons have been added because these are gonna be the third party ones. Now, you must have the application installed in order for the icon to work properly. If you don't have the Twitter app, for example, installed, it's not gonna open up Twitter, obviously, so you just wanna keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and remove those app transitions. This here, you see that? So it brings us to settings. Some of these stock icons bring the transitions over redirect to settings. Well, to remove that, all you wanna do is head on over to accessibilities. You wanna to go to motion and under motion, make sure you turn on a reduce motion in crossfade transitions. Turn that off and now we can open the settings app directly to settings just like so. Now that is a method to do it because you do remove the transitions or the animations and that is the way to get direct access to the app with the icon being customized and this works for third party applications as well. Now if you would like to remove the theme all you have to do is go back into settings in general go to profiles and then remove the theme that you installed. So we have the third party theming applications right here, click removed and to the passcode once again. And you can see that the third party icons will be removed from the home screen, now leaving only the icons for stock iOS that we had to begin with. So next I'm gonna show you how to remove the dock and blend in the notch here. So let's go ahead over to the photos application. I have two wallpapers that I'm currently using. So for iOS 14.3, I have this one here that sort of gives this rainbow effect around the OLED display, even the notch. So we'll go ahead and set up this one here. Let's go ahead and set it up for setting up the wallpaper. Make sure you make it so it lines up perfectly here with your iPhone's OLED display. And once you have it all set up, click set and then set it on your iPhone. And this one gives you a really cool effect around the OLED display. Now these icons are blacked out, so for the background here, they disappear with this one wallpaper here, and it looks really, really cool in my opinion. Now the second wallpaper is the one that I use to remove the actual dock. So let's go ahead and apply that one here. Go ahead and stretch it out just a little bit and click set, set for both. And this one will blend the actual folders look transparent and the dock completely disappears. Both wallpapers will be linked in the description and that is how you remove the app transition or the app redirects that is how you get rid of the dock blend in the notch and get this really cool theming on the latest 14.3 thank you for watching this video and i'll see you on the next one peace